everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so this is another video so in today's video we are going to build a small project with react and this is our final project look like so the purpose of this project is to demonstrate how we can use react routers how we can build and protect our route that the user cannot access without locking as you can see here with that we have dashboard and if you are lock in you can have visit you can visit dashboard if you are lock out so you can click lock out then the dashboard is gone you cannot see it and if I try to go to dashboard nothing happened but if I lock in then I can go to slash dashboard so yeah but the problem here yeah you can go but the problem here is like the page refresh so we cannot type in here so but that is the our simple little project to do there's no backend required for this one just with Priya maybe in the future I will try to create um, the with Firebase or something right, before start I need to start a t start watch I need to see I just keep my video maximum is 10 or 20 minutes uh, like 15 minutes alright so let's get started so here I'm create the empty project so there's nothing here just the image that I need and I'm using bootstrap and also I'm integrated with font family so you might see something here alright cool so first you need to go to react router documentation it's really it's very really well documentation and please go ahead and copy this one and install it and then we then let's import and let actually code it all right so first we need to import what we install I already install it already so I don't need anymore I don't need to install it anymore so let me close this one oops why is it happening okay cool so now I need to import a couple things first I need to import route I need to import link I need to import browser oh my god browser routers as router yes and then we need switch switch oh not this switch ch and also redirect just um from um no react rather down okay cool so then the so in order to achieve this one we need to three component first is about the component yeah which is we can set parameter let's say i'm going to slash one two so we can see this user one two and home component and also post component so let's get actually uh build this three component so i'm going to all right just to keep it simple i'm not i'm going to just create in here just like about component and this is like post component cool so then i'm gonna create functions about uh, equal to returns this one oops not this one but what what did I do? Div and then we just return h1 about page about page and the another one is post functions post and returned alright let me go this way so I can see it clearly so h1 I can like I call it welcome to post and the last one is home component is home component so function home and then we're going to return this one and the div h1 home yeah page all right so now we have three components so let's actually set up the route that we can um access to this three component so the first one that you have to do is to wrap it in the router so i'm gonna uh, delete this uh, one right here because i don't need to 
Alright, I'm gonna delete everything here. So I'm gonna wrap everything with routers. Router, cool. And then we need to route. Use route and just cell closing and then we need the path that we want to go. So pass, let's say if we want to go to pass slash, then what component we want to run. So then we go and specify that property component equal to let's say home right. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we have to do this to three more. This one and we go and do this like about. You see it's really easy, right? Yeah, about the case. And this one go to post. And this go to post component. Cool. And just like that. It's really easy like that. Uh-huh. Browser error is not exports from as a router. Uh, so so what happened here? I think maybe I'm I'm spell something wrong. Um that browser Oh here. I misspell it. So I hope it worked. Yeah, cool, it's worked now. So you can see it's it's it is working right now. If I go to slash about and we can see a bar page and also post all right welcome to the home page post page but the problem is why this happening why does home page keep showing in every route and every page so the problem is it first you need to find a path to start with slash so every everything every path is start with backslash yeah and they run this component home right in here about here so it starts with slash so okay it starts with slash then I'm on the home component alright but so to to solve this problem we have some keyword called exact so we mean like you have to be exact this path and then we run this component otherwise it's not so by using this keyword now in post we can see only post and about we can see only about Great. Oh, see, Paul, easy. Let's see how many. Oh, we just actually spent six minutes. Maybe my intro, uh, like two or three minutes, is almost ten minutes right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish this quick. So then we need to make a navigation bar. Navigation. I'm using simple nav. So nav, and then U I L I. I'm gonna need. I don't want to be 20 minutes no. Alright, cool. So this one we need um the link. So this is like the component link to so link to where? Link to slash. And then we call it home. Cool. And I'm gonna copy this two and two and three. Great. Now we need to about we need to go to post. So this is not actually quite done yet. So all right, let's examine it. Home, home page. Okay, we can post. Okay, cool. It's working. Uh, what the heck is this? Not. All right. So this is about, and we have to put this one. Post. All right, cool. So this is home. We go to home page. Go home page. About, about page. Post, post. Great. All right, so so the last thing is how? What if the route is doesn't exist? All right, let's actually look at time first. Okay, what if the route is doesn't exist? Let's see if I go to route one, two, three, and it show nothing. It should tell the user that okay, this route doesn't exist. Show page not found or something like that. So to do this, we need to create one more route. I'm gonna call it route. Um, pass to this is not no pass so I mean and then we create a component called not found component all right so this is we're going to create a not found component and then we down here we're going to like not found component 
cool. Oh. Not found. Returned. Div. So we're gonna say like h1. H. Not found. Four, four. Great. So, but this is. Alright, so let's see. Alright, so. This is not found. I'll uh, create. But if I go to home, it has fate not found as well. So why is that? Why is that happening? So if even though if I put exact here, and it's, it's not, it's still not working. So to solve this one, we have uh, we already include a switch. So we need to wrap everything from here with switch. So then just you switch. Yep, and then you refresh the page. Voila, great. So I think this is it. And if I go to post one, two, three, page not found. Go to a bow. All right. So I think this is it for this video. I think, and maybe in next video I will continue this one. I don't want to keep my video it's too long. So. In the next video, we're gonna build this navigation bar and about the lock in and lock out, protect the route. And this post right here, if you want to see how to do this, you can check my video about React Rich Tech Editor. I will leave the link in the description and another how to build this beautiful tech editor right here. So, yeah, if you have any question or any suggestion, uh, leave it in the comment. So, alright, see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get more videos like this. Alright, see you. Goodbye.